Hey guys, I feel a little bit bad because all the mystery behind this lamp is already spoiled by the thumbnail. So you know what's going on in the middle. But I'm going to roll with the story anyway because it's an interesting one. I actually don't know how I've ended up with Moonside One, which is this lamp. The company reached out to me and pitched a Moonside Neon Hex, which looked really cool. And I had this idea in my mind that I'm going to put it on the wall and try to spell out the chem chemical structure of caffeine, which is a substance I love and abuse a lot. But anyway, they've sent me Moonside 1 instead and told me that the other one is on pre-order right now and not available at the moment. So I've put the lamp aside and I wasn't really keen on reviewing it immediately because I had other things to work on until one night when, well, the night was dark and full of terror and I really needed some light. So I grabbed the lamp, plugged it in and, well, nothing uneventful happened. It's a smart light. Come on, you need to connect it to, to stuff to make it work completely. So I've downloaded the Moonside app, looked at rather low reviews and I, I hesitated a little bit. But I am glad I didn't because this lamp looks truly astonishing. After using the app for some time, I don't feel that all of that low rated feedback is really representative. I had an old crash when clicking on the group which wasn't created, which A, shouldn't happen, but also didn't impact my experience that much. Uh, but for the most part, I didn't really experience any problems mentioned by uh, people leaving feedback, which means I think the developers addressed some of those bugs listed in the um, comments, and you should give it a go anyway. And let's face it, guys, my decision was totally justified. So just look at it. It's bland. It has a single button for controls. It's not particularly entertaining in this form. Although I'll give it to them that they use actually USB Type-C for, pa for power, even though it doesn't support USB Type-C PD. But that's fine. So the first thing that Moonside app does nicely are the controls. It actually doesn't ask you to create an account, doesn't ask you for your personal details. You can start controlling your lab over Bluetooth with most of the features being available, which is nice, and I wish a lot of different smart companies would adopt this, letting us control the devices without actually eating our data and selling it for well, whatever they're doing with our data nowadays. And at first I went through the usual different colors, different brightnesses, and I discovered animation. This is where I started to understand that there is more going on underneath the surface of the diffuser than I initially anticipated. The animations were really nice, vivid and fast and happening across 360 degrees, so from every side of this lamp. After that I've switched over to custom matrix pattern, which gave me an idea that I'm actually not dealing with a lamp itself, but a RGB LED matrix, which is very exciting because I actually been building one of these uh, some time ago and I really really like it. So I've set up a couple of patterns to test it out but the results, well, they were mixed. Mostly because the LEDs are heavily diffused and they not as crisp as on the panel behind me. At this point I really wanted to open it up and see how they made it. In my head I would envision a custom uh, flexible PCB with a LED RGB matrix uh, wrapped around the core. Turns out after opening the cover that wasn't the case and the solution is simpler and probably less expensive. They're using a couple of PCBs stuck together in a core. So you've got 12 LEDs at the top and six panels with 18 LEDs on each side. Now on one of the sides you also have a driver which is uh, ESP32 responsible for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. That's why you can connect this via 2.4 GHz to your local network. Oh, by the way, you really have to appreciate that white zip tie to hold everything together. Actually, I don't know if it's needed because it holds up without it pretty well. Anyway, now that my curiosity was filled, it was time to put it back together and explore the app a little bit more. When I decided to try the connected features, this is uh, when I was prompted to actually create an account and connect the device to the cloud so I could have cloud controls. And that's fair because, well, I've asked for it. I have to say that I absolutely love the animations 
and the sound driven effects because they look lovely and the library uh, of the animations and presets is quite rich so you can just explore and you're definitely gonna find something you like. But not everything is perfect. First, let's start with smart features. Now you can integrate this light with uh, likes of Alexa or Google Home. However, for some reason it connects as a single light. So you can control the brightness or turn it on or off. You can't select colors, you can't select pre presets. So that bit is disappointing. I really hope they're gonna get it solved and properly implemented because, well, that's just silly. Another thing that is not perfect is the microphone itself. Now, if you can see the panel behind me, it's actually very responsive. I don't have to um, shout, I don't have to speak loudly, and it will pick up and display nice breakdown of the frequency of my voice. That is in the case with Moonside 1. Unfortunately, the microphone is uh, less sensitive, and if you have a music playing loudly, that's fine, but if you have uh, just the music in the background and the lamp is placed far away from the uh, actual speaker, it's very unlikely that you will be able to drive the light using music. You're probably gonna end up selecting a preset instead. Lastly, what the app is missing is the editor. I would really appreciate a custom editor that lets you select the first frame, last frame, and maybe frame in the middle, and then automatic uh, script to run all the colors through all those frames at certain speeds. That would be brilliant. However, I have to give it to Moonside that they actually have a submission form where you can submit your ideas for different effects and patterns. I don't know how often they get implemented, but looking at the library, existing libraries in the app, you're not going to get bored of these effects for a long time because that list is absolutely long and rich. I am very excited because now I have two lights I can use for my product shots as a light feature in the background. Obviously the RGB panel that I've made myself, a video about it is here, and Moonside 1, which, well, it's gonna look just lovely. Now, if you want to get one yourself, the price for the lamp is $69.99 in US dollars, which might seem expensive until you realize that you're actually buying an LED uh, RGB ma matrix, and, well, considering how much time I've spent building this one up and how much uh, it cost me, which was around $40, I don't think that price is so unreasonable. So if you are interested, in the description of this video, you're gonna find a link to this product. Uh, so you can check it out and check it out the uh, Moonside uh, Neon Hex as well, because it looks interesting. And after playing with the Moonside one, I'm totally stoked for it as well. All right, guys. I do not have a posting schedule, so if you want to find out if I'm going to get my hands on that uh, Moonside Neon Hex, and then you know how YouTube works and how to subscribe and do all of that, I'm not going to teach you that, others did that for, for me. But what I'm going to say, if you want to have a heads up on what's coming to Not Enough Tech, uh, select one of the social media below, follow me there and start a conversation, because it's nice to speak to you guys. As for now, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.